The Honourable Member for Simcoe Gray. Well, Mr. Speaker, I'm also shocked at another revelation. We have a Liberal government that wants to legalize marijuana, and yesterday we learned that the Liberals may be planning to decriminalize all drugs. In my clinic, kids are asking, is it okay to do drugs now? Young Canadians know drugs are bad for them. The Liberal drug policy is damaging to Canadians, especially to Canadian kids. Can the minister confirm that decriminalizing hard drugs is Liberal policy? And by the way, what dangerous drugs are on that list? Before, before I go to the Parliamentary Secretary, I just want to remind everyone what I said about hearing the, the question or the answer also went for hearing the question. It kind of got raucous on both sides, so I just want everybody to take a deep breath. I realize it's Friday, and uh, just listen to each other, and we'll get much further ahead. The Honourable Member for, or the, sorry, the Honourable Parliamentary Secretary. Speaker, quite frankly, they're making this up. We're in a national public health crisis, and unlike the members opposite, we're bringing forward solutions to deal with this crisis and responding in a way that is comprehensive, compassionate, and evidence-based. And, Mr. Speaker, while we've made it very clear that we plan to legalize, strictly regulate, and restrict access to cannabis in a careful way to keep it out of the hands of children and youth and to stop criminals from profiting, we have been equally clear that we are not considering legalizing any other substances, and we will continue to work with our partners to bring forward innovative solutions to battle the opioid crisis and to save lives. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Yeah.